Welcome to Minecraft Trick or Creek, a brand new Halloween adventure map set in the Pale Garden. Trick or Creek is part scavenger hunt, part PvE challenge, part capture the flag and a whole lot of fun. Try to collect as many creek cards as you can and be quick about it, you only have so much time. But beware, your enemies may try to steal your loot. And there are treasure chests hidden near your base. If you can find them, your team will have a real advantage. This game is meant to be played by two teams, but you can also play it with a friend or explore the map by yourself. It is played on Minecraft version 1.21.2 Pre 4 and the link for the world download is in the description. If you want to play with your friends, you may want to install simple voice chat. You don't need any other mods and you should not use free cam or map mods. That would make it way too easy. Where would the challenge be? When you first enter the world, you spawn in this cozy little cottage. But don't worry, we made it safe for you. Decide how long you want to play. We recommend about 90 minutes, but you can choose your own time limit. It's up to you. One of you should set a timer and be the timekeeper. Now, test your voice chat if you have it and decide which team you want to join, purple or orange. Are you ready? Then go into the start room for your team and press this button here. The room will kill you so everyone starts with full health and an empty inventory. You will respawn inside your team's base and that's where the fun begins. Each team member now goes into this changing room one by one. This is where you get your gear. Once you've been TP'd outside, you can start playing. And if you have a little accident and die in game, you will just respawn inside the obsidian room and get new equipment. But beware, eventually the equipment will run out. This is your team kit. It consists of one beautiful team jersey that you should wear throughout the game. You also get one shiny silk touch axe for harvesting creaking hearts and two compasses. One compass points to your base and the other one to the enemy base. As you can see, there is a little bit of food here, but not much. So you need to plan ahead and use your environment to help you survive. There are also some very useful loot boxes hidden around here. They contain food and other helpful items. There are 10 easy orange boxes nearby, 10 green boxes that are medium hard and contain slightly better loot. There are also 6 valuable brown boxes and 6 super valuable grey boxes. Grey boxes are well hidden in the pale garden and they are well worth searching for. Good luck! Use your daylight hours for all your prep, because as soon as it gets dark, the real fun begins in the spooky pale forest. The usual nighttime mobs will spawn and try to kill you, but what you are looking for are these guys, the creaking. This new mob is like a weeping angel. It does not move as long as you look at it, but once you turn your back, it will sneak up on you and attack you, so team play is probably a good option here. You can't kill a creaking, but when you attack it, a particle trail will show you where its creaking heart is. If you destroy or harvest the heart, the creaking mob will disappear. Poof! And the creaking heart is what you are collecting in this game. Try to get as many creaking hearts as possible before the game ends. But make sure you use your silk touch axe or else the creaking heart gets destroyed. Oopsie daisy! When you have a creaking heart in your inventory, you start glowing. Look, this may give your location away to your enemy, so be careful. Hurry back to base. And as soon as you get to your base, place your creaking heart in this shulker box. You're not allowed to hide them somewhere until the game is nearly finished. Please put them in straight away. Only deposited hearts in the score box count. And you can see your team score here. You get one point for every heart in your chest. But be careful, there is one more twist to this game. Teams can raid each other's camps and steal the hearts. So, how do you do that? Easy! To remove a heart from the other team's chest, just press this button at their base. Each button press removes one heart from their chest and from their score. And of course you can click the button more than once. But make sure they don't catch you. And now, you just need to get your stolen hearts home and put them in your own box. And try not to get caught because you're glowing. You see, this is not just a treasure hunt. This is a game of strategy and cunning tactics. One daring raid can change everything. Play until the time is up and make sure you deposit all the hearts in your team chest before the end. If it's not in the chest, it doesn't count. So whose strategy worked best? Have fun and may the best team win. Trick or creak?